Yes. Uh, my name is Balaj Rebesh. <coughs> my question is uh, about economics. Thank you, sir. So my name is uh, Balaj Rebesh. My question is about economics. Is that these market actors are reflexive. <coughs> also have learned economics in business school. So the models that describe the market become their tools to know the market. So through that, become the framework upon which they act on the market. So if there's another way, layer of reflexivity where economics enters the operation of markets and becomes performative in a sense. Um, <clears throat> I wonder if that played a role in this current crisis. No, I agree well. with you. I, I, I mean, uh, um, I would say that you know, I put this theory forward uh, more, than uh, more than 20 years ago in you know, the article of finance, and it is taught in business school, but not in the economics departments of universities, because it, it, it uh, as I said, de uh, demotes <coughs> economics as, a, as an exact science. Uh, and that's very hard to accept. Um, and so it, I can understand that it was neglected as long as it could be neglected. Uh, but I think it can no longer be neglected. And you have to accept that actually, you know, markets cannot be predicted the way economics wants to predict it. Thank you. Yes. My name is Serge. Uh, maybe just to defend the fundamentalists, wouldn't you say that this is uh, this crisis, being the super crisis or any other crisis, is actually the, a way to uh, correct it, the, for the markets to correct themselves? Uh, it will not correct itself uh, unless the authorities uh, take the right steps. The system is going to collapse. Unfortunately, the situation did get out of control. So it's not 100% that it can actually be uh, uh, kept together, uh, it, it, even with the, the authorities taking active steps now. I mean, they're really running after it. But they were very slow on the uptake, and they were always reacting to the crisis as it evolved, never anticipating it. And and it, it, it and with Lehman's collapse, it did actually get out of control. And unless drastic, far-reaching measures are taken, and that comes back to one of the questions that I didn't answer, uh, 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 the system is going to uh, surely collapse. I think one has to recognize that. Now. You, you asked the question, you know, why bail out the financial system you know, uh, and financial companies and not, 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 yes. not, not the... Uh, I mean, this is a political question, of course. Still. And uh, uh, you had a, gov uh, a, a, a government that is uh, very much uh, committed to market fundamentalism and uh, was trying to uh, do what uh, handle this crisis the same way as they crisis, uh, uh, handled the previous crises, saving the fail failing institutions, uh, and they did it wrong. The, the the to me the mistakes that they made are truly amazing, um, uh, and in fact. Um, you know, what happened, they were, uh, uh, Paulson, who used to be head of Goldman Sachs, uh, just couldn't understand that, that the system is, is bound to collapse unless active measures are take, taken to, to, to save it. They was very reluctant to intervene. Uh, because the more you intervene, the more you then have to <coughs> regulations. In other words, the more government intervention, 
the greater the obligation. Once tax money is used, uh, then you have to uh, somehow regulate and impose political conditions. And he wanted to avoid that. And that was his main motivation. And he failed. He, when, you know, uh, six months after bailing out best terms, um, he thought that maybe the market has adjusted enough that it can handle the failure of the Lehman Brothers. Uh, and so he actually allowed the Lehman Brothers to fail. But worse than that, he had no plan B. So when all hell broke loose, and that week was a memorable week, you know, because uh, Monday the Lehman went uh, to, uh, and he said uh, no bailout for American International Group, which was a, not a big, big, looming uh, uh, failure. The next day he had to reverse it himself and take over uh, AIG on very punitive terms. And then uh, came the attack on the money market funds, and by Thursday he had to go to Congress with a plan which turned into top. But basically it was not a plan. It was a plan to have a plan, because he had no plan. <laughs> and, and, and so he asked total discretion from, uh, from $700 billion, totally discretionary, with the uh, exception from judicial processes and, 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 and so on. Uh, a totally unrealistic demand. Of course, he didn't get it. Uh, but his idea was to take the, these toxic securities off the hands of the, uh, of, of the banks and establish a price and pump up the value by adding additional demand and sort of turn the market around. Uh, it was a non-starter. It was totally the wrong plan. And it, it was actually my privilege to point that out. And, 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 and I wrote some articles uh, pointing it out that if you inject money at the level of the balance sheet, you can't inject enough. There are trillions of, of you need trillions of dollars. If you inject it at the level of the of equity, $700 billion could actually recapitalize the banks. So the, gradually, the, the top was turned around and was used to recapitalize. But it's done the wrong way. Uh, um, and the money actually is to a large extent wasted. I mean, it's not totally, it's better than if, if, if they had done it the other way. But it's, it's not an effective uh, way of doing it. Thank you. Now, coming back, sorry, to, just to answer the, the, the other thing. So, this was, the top was designed to save the, the, the the financial system, which is necessary, because Wall Street and, and Main Street are connected. Yes. But if Wall Street gets into trouble, Main Street is affected. So you do need to actually deal with that. However, you, you can't leave the mortgage holders without assistance. So I, I've been advocating uh, that the mortgage the uh, mortgages have to be renegotiated uh, to, to bring them down below the current value of the houses. Uh, without it, bailing out mostly doesn't actually solve the problem because foreclosures and people walking away from the, their homes will push housing prices way below whatever equilibrium level would be. And so you have to prevent foreclosures, or you have to reduce them to a minimum. And the way to do it is to renegotiate the mortgages uh, rather than to let the foreclosure process go. OK, just a footnote, because not everybody is an economist in this room. TARP stands for Troubled Asset Recovery Plan. 